Hey scholars, welcome back to Mr. Brandon's writing lesson. So excited to see everybody on here today again for another day of writing. So guys, we have a really fun lesson plan today. So scholars, as well, always, we're going to get started by taking out our pencil and a piece of paper. So go ahead and pause your video and take out a pencil and a piece of paper and we will get started with our lesson for the day. So we have our tools out, we have our pencil and our paper, and we are ready to get started with our writing lesson today. So let's do it. Here we go. So scholars, we're going to start off by reviewing one of our scholars' writing responses from last week. And we are going to see how they did, making sure that they fit the criteria for what my expectations are for your writing responses. So let's take a look and see how they did. So they wrote, I felt calm when I was asleep. So... Let's take a look at that word sleep. So what we want to do is we want to spell the word asleep, right? So I felt calm when I was asleep, and that makes a little bit more sense. So we just put an A in front of the word sleep there. So asleep. I got calm when I took a deep breath and laid still. So that's a great sentence. They paid really good attention to spacing, making sure there's enough space in between words, capitalization and spelling. After I got calm, I went to sleep. I had a good sleep. So yeah, that's a really great response. Thank you so much to whomever wrote that. That was four sentences, so that's perfect for a kindergarten response, but for first grade, we need one more sentence. And guys, as always, try and mix it up a little bit with punctuation. Try and add an exclamation mark or a question mark. Um, but yeah, they did a really good job, um, really good job at saying um, who the character was, which was themselves. But what we also want to do is pay attention to making sure that we mention what the setting is. So where did this take place? Now I can imagine where it probably took place, probably in their bed or in their room because that's where they were sleeping. But it's good to just give those details to the reader. Um, but otherwise, that's a great response. Thank you so much to whomever wrote that. Alrighty, guys. So let's get started with our lesson today. So as always, we're going to do a quick review on what my expectations are for your writing responses. All right, guys. So as always... For our writing responses, we are going to respond to the prompt that I give you. Kindergarten, you're going to give four sentences. So give me four sentences of a response in first, next, and last order of the events that happened. Make sure that you tell me the characters that were in the story and the setting, so where the story took place. And as always, we pay attention to punctuation, spelling, spacing, and capitalization. Now, first grade, you're going to be doing the same exact thing, except you're going to be giving me five sentences. You're going to give me a five-sentence paragraph giving me the character, setting, and events that took place. All right, guys, so now that we have an understanding of what I expect from your writing responses, let's get our writing prompt of the day. All right, guys, so our writing prompt for today is I want you to write about your favorite memory with your family. So tell me what your favorite memory with your family is. So, what is your favorite memory with your family? Did you guys go to the park one day and it was a really beautiful day and your mom was there, your brother was there, whomever, whomever it was, uh, just make sure that you guys tell me what your favorite memory was with your family. Guys, I'm looking forward to seeing what your responses are. Um, as always, kindergarten, four sentences, first grade, five sentences, and guys, keep sending in the good work and make, making sure that you're finishing Lexia and Zern, and I will see you again tomorrow for another writing lesson. All right, bye guys.